Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the latest release from Gucci. It's in their Gucci Guilty range and it is their new Eau de Parfum Intense Pour Femme. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs to the original Gucci Guilty and the others in the range. If you're new here, then hello. Welcome, we're all about perfumes. Do check out my hundreds and hundreds of other videos. I have one on the whole Gucci Guilty range as well as an article on my website going through all the different versions of Gucci Guilty and if you're a regular do check to see if you're subscribed and turn on notifications and I will leave the link to where you can buy this new perfume down below in the description box but before we start with the perfume I wanted to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor Ana Luisa Jewelry if you've been watching me for a while you'll know that they are my favorite jewelry brands and I wanted to share with you the latest pieces I've got and the March Madness event which is happening now where you can get 20% off the entire site the link is down below in the description box if you're not familiar with Ana Luisa they are the main jewelry brands that I wear often I'm like nine times out of ten wearing their earrings and their necklaces they are a great ethical sustainable jewelry brand they use recycled gold they're carbon neutral even taking into account the amount of water they use and they are super affordable they start at like 39 dollars they do worldwide shipping and it literally arrives so quickly like within the week it arrives from america it's so quick so one of the first pieces i picked up is this gorgeous heart necklace which I've had my eye on now for a while it's really quite um sort of heavy and weighty red stone and then it has that sort of special way that it attaches there just by I love my sort of deep reds and hearts and things and I just thought it was a real nice kind of kind of statementy but not too big so you can still wear it every day heart so I'm really loving that it's nice and chunky and then I also have picked up um some new moon earrings you guys know I love moons so I've got these new earrings which kind of have like a pearlescent moonstone vibe to them and I also got moon earrings that are sparkly super cute I also got these ones which I just thought were really unique. I haven't really seen that design before and I like the sort of little crown on top, you know, last name's King, so I loved, I love them. And they come in these really pretty like pouches, nice thick material, so they're a great sort of present for yourself or for someone else. Of course we have Mother's Day coming up soon here in the UK. They release so many new pieces all the time actually, so if you are a fan of the brand, make sure you're following them on Instagram and subscribe to their newsletter so that you can stay up to date on all those new releases. But yeah, so at the moment it's 20% off with the link down in my description box, so do check them out. Cool, so let's get into the perfumes. So Gucci Guilty was originally released in the sort of rectangle square shaped gold bottle with the G cut out of it. That bottle has been discontinued and replaced with these bottles, which are the same as what the men's perfume always used to come in. And the original Gucci Guilty is a violet, uh, sort of lilac, floral, feminine, slightly powdery scent. This new intense version definitely has that powdery violet vibe. Um, it really does feel like a more intense version of the original. I've been wearing it today and I literally did one spray and I can really smell it on me. The lasting power and the projection is really good. So this is a good intense perfume. I do find that with Gucci, particularly in the Gucci Guilty range, when they say it's gonna be strong, it is. They do make it quite good for lasting perfume perfumes. When I was reading about this before I got it, um, it said that it had a lot of plum in it, so I was expecting it to be a really fruity fragrance. I have to say I don't really get that much plum from it and I love my fruity notes so I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I'm just really getting the violets, I'm also getting a fair amount of ylang ylang, there's a hint of tuberose, there's a patchouli base as well, but if there is a plum there it's like a deep dark plum, it's not a fresh or a fruity plum. For me, this is still very much a violet perfume like the original Eau de Parfum Gucci Guilty is. I also noticed that in the branding they used um, Mandora Orange, which is one of the ingredients a lot, so I thought maybe it's gonna be orangey. I can't smell any orange either, so maybe it's just me. But for me, this is another powdery, stronger 
Violet take on the original. They did release an eau de toilette version, a reformulated eau de toilette version of Gucci Guilty a few months back um, last year. That was quite fresher, floral, focused really on the lilac from the original. Uh, quite pink peppery but still quite musky but it didn't have all that violet notes that sort of palmer violet note that we get from the original there's also the pink love edition which is also quite powdery my personal favorite from the range and if you like the type of perfumes that i like i definitely recommend checking it out is the gucci guilty absolute that comes in a sort of dark purpley plummy colored bottle it's totally different to all the others it doesn't have all that powderiness in instead it's a blackberry sort of fruits of the forest with patchouli and rose underneath and there's actually quite a woodiness to it a cypress note in there as well which works really well with the blackberry like really supporting that note so i really like that one and i find the lasting power is excellent on it as well so definitely check that out if you like my type of fragrances but i think if you're a fan of the original gucci guilty then i definitely recommend checking this out because it is like a stronger better for lasting version of the original so in that sense it is soaky approved it's just not the type of fragrance that i personally would choose to wear cool guys so don't forget to check out the Ana Luisa website with the 20% off right now in their March Madness event link down below in the description um, along with where you can buy this new Gucci Guilty and my article on the whole range but that's it guys so thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video bye